All right, everybody. It's the 25th of July, 2014. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really know what's going on in the world today because all I do is, all I hear is what comes on the radio, which is propaganda. And uh, so I don't get a lot of real information. Uh, one of the things I do continually hear on the radio that I do find interesting, if I could say I find anything interesting, is this whole idea, this whole... Um, repetition of uh ooh, excuse me this whole repetition of this idea uh that uh uh we're part of some kind of team and and and, and you know and oh if we can just all get behind a, a conservative that's what i heard uh what's his name levin saying the you know and 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 uh you know might as well have hired uh, gilbert godfrey you know for the position but uh you know uh you know what was he saying uh we uh, <clears throat> something about we all got to get behind a conservative we all got to get behind a conservative and then he just screams and, and and it never means anything but you know uh i mean i guess if you can you know make yourself sound like you know you believe what you're saying then uh, you know, then, then people will buy into it. So, but I guess that's the idea behind him. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, what I'm trying to say here is, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, it's crazy, you know, you know, and, 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 and he was shooting down Romney because he got in the way of the other conservatives and, and, uh, and, you know, it's just a mess on the radio. I mean, that's, that's really the beginning of the problems, but the, but really that's that's really how they get these people is they get them in this mind state like you know and, and and if you just sign on to this you're part of something you know what I'm saying and then people are so pathetic that they sit there and they're like yeah and and, and they're just like and, and they're just like chill childlike childlike people and uh, so I can't really uh, can't really deal with that too much but I mean. Uh, you know it's 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 annoying but you know the brain the mind washing is just far and wide and there's i've been i've been reading these books and 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 uh you know every and there's so many books that are just written from the perspective of somebody who has this idea that they're signed on to something and man and i can't even finish these books and i have to go to to another book and and uh i mean a lot of them will have good information but then you got these problems and and so i mean i was listen i was listening to the radio well i don't even want to go into it but um i will just say there's absolutely nothing interesting about what i heard on the radio so i couldn't tell you about what's going on but i can tell you what they're talking about and what they're talking about is uh immigration and stuff like this and i was i was going through taco bell today and i saw some mexican woman and she was being pulled over and she was on her cell phone for something and there's these two cops standing there and they're both wearing black and i'm sitting there thinking you know why are cops continually now more wearing black wearing black wearing black you know and it, and I, and you know it just reminds me, and it's a hot summer day outside. They surely don't want to be wearing black. But either way, I, I'm sitting there thinking about this, um, this idea, this you know, this refrain that that's re that's been repeated over the years, something to the effect of a uh, uh, the men in, the men in black uniforms are coming, or or the the men in black ski masks are coming. And I'm just like, man, the men in black ski masks are here. And I'm not talking about the fact that they're taking this Mexican woman and sending her back to Mexico, or I don't know what's going on there. But what I am saying is that I've seen so many people. I really don't have a position on this, but I've seen so many people drug away under false pretenses. I'm, I'm almost sitting there with this instinct like, man, just get the hell away from that woman. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm watching them, you know, surround her, and then the next thing you know, yeah, she does get, you know, carried away in handcuffs and you know the instinct is just get away from her get away from her get away from her and i don't even know what you know i don't even know what the situation is you know with her or immigration or anything else <laughs> and 
and, and it's honestly, I, I've been, I've been like this with immigration, you know, where really I would prefer that there, we had a little bit of restrictions, uh, not restrictions, but more, you know, of a desire, at least not to just, I mean, we can at least let people go through the process of getting in the country and I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm under the belief system that, well, I mean, it's gonna, it's, these people are really, they're gonna screw up the job market, okay, and, uh, that's just in my that's just my opinion so and uh so that's you know that's just where I'm coming from so either way the point of the story though is that uh you know maybe they'll make it better i mean i don't know but <laughs> i doubt it i mean one of the things that ends up happening is they always get they get all kinds of health care they sign on all, onto all kinds of health care and just they get some kind of free health care they're I don't know, man. It's just uh, I'm just gonna stay away from that one, okay? But what? But I do see it as kind of a distraction, to be honest with you. Uh, I meant to say this a hell of a lot earlier in the conversation, but uh, I do see it as a distraction uh, to a certain extent. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, how long can you talk about this? It's really, it's really a cop out and a distraction for these radio hosts. Uh, to you know, continu continually you know, repeat and rehearse this whole scenario over uh, you know immigration, 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 blah blah blah. Uh, you know, but I mean, I'm not saying that. But here's what I am saying. Okay, uh, it's a problem when we have as many people being carried away as we do right now in America. Okay, that is what I am saying. Okay. And, oh, man, it is really a lot of people. And, um, man, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, but all I can say is that, uh, it's under the auspices. It's under false pretenses. Okay. I just want to make that clear. Uh, they say it's because people are using drugs, like, the whole idea of drug prohibition is supposedly to keep people from using drugs, okay? And the whole problem with that is that it's none of your business, and it's a, it's an, it's a narcissistic crusade, okay? It's not a moral crusade, okay? It is a narcissistic crusade, <laughs> And if you believe it's like, you know, and, and a lot of this really was spearheaded by the churches of the time, from what I've read. And at least there was a lot of, you know, and if you believe that, then you haven't read the Bible. And that's the problem. Okay. Because if you, for you to, to hold up a Bible and say, drug prohibition, yes, name of the Bible, then you are clearly ignorant. And... A lot of you probably really think you are making sense, but you're God's greatest enemy, <laughs> actually, if you read the Bible. That's what's so interesting about that, but all I'm saying is, uh, let me just try to explain this to you, okay? Uh, Jesus Christ basically said, you know, the, 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 the Son of Man, me, meaning him, came eating and drinking, and you called him a drunk and a glutton. Uh, you know, whenever they came to stone the prostitute, those were the those were the those were the church elders of the time, basically the priesthood or the or the priest class or the or the or or your your local, you know, preacher, you know, leading his congregation in a certain direction. Uh, and so here's this guy, and he's basically saying, um, uh, "Okay, let's stone this prostitute to death." Uh, what do you say about that, Jesus? Because this is their moral crusade. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, you are actually doing what the Bible says don't do, so do not ever, okay, put on your little sweater vest and tell me, okay, that you're coming in the name of morality. Don't ever do that. Because you're a, you are an absolute joke of... Uh, of of an ideological crusade, okay? I mean, you are a moronic, festooning, 
you know. joke of a of a of an attempt okay and all I'm trying to say is that you're disgusting and you're pathetic and you're gross and I mean seriously you 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 people are I mean absolutely the most disgusting because here's the thing we don't want to have anything to do with somebody who's like I'm better than you and and and, and like you know I mean you're gross, man. It's like, ugh. Ugh. get away from me. You know, where is that going to go? You know what I mean? Because you know it's going to go somewhere sick. And, uh, you know, it has to. They have to. They have to justify the superiority complex through violence. Do you understand? That's what has to happen. And so they got to get them off the streets, buddy. Oh, yeah, they did get them off the street, didn't they? Got him right off the street, just like a dog catcher. Got him off the street. Yeah, got him off the street. <laughs> Woo! Just got you right off the street. Yeah. How you like that? Sounds great. That's another problem, too. It's, just, it's bizarre what's going on. I mean, somebody needs to seriously sit here and, and put it, put this shit in perspective. Okay. Let's not talk about, you know, let's put the glasses on, man. Let's put the glasses on and see what's really going on. Because this is a sick, sick, disgusting joke. This is a sick, sick, excuse me, disgusting joke. Okay, this is, a, this is absolutely disgusting. I mean, the number of people that are in these freaking dungeons right now. Whoa. Holy shit. Can you even believe it? They're sitting in there just ticking seconds off the wall. Just like for nothing, man. And it's crazy. Whoa. 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 Do you hear me? So many people. Whoa. Whoa, 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 man. Whoa, man. What did you just say? Whoa, 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 and it's and and you can't ever really justify it. Because they're seriously sitting there rotting away. Whoa. That's what I'm trying to say. Just one time is good enough, actually. Whoa. I mean, it, the the point of the story is... That's a lot. That's a lot of time. Okay. I mean, a day. A day is a long time. Okay. An hour is a long time. I think you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, 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 a month of an innocent person's life gone. That's a long time. Okay. But years and years and years of millions of people's lives on end, year after year, increasingly, year after year, every single year increasing, year on year, in, year after year, 50,000 on average, year after year. That's my own personal research that came up with that. That's a lot. Okay. And it just blows my mind. And the more I think about it, the more I just kind of like, I'm just like, holy shit, are you kidding me? Wait a second. Oh, my God. That's probably why people don't get into this. <sighs> Anyways, I'm about to run out of time, but, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if there's really much more to say than that. I know there is, but it just, it blows my mind so much that, uh, I just get stuck, you know? And, uh, so, anyways.
anyways. I guess it doesn't matter, but it's sick. It is sick. Not that it doesn't matter that they're sitting in there right now, rotting away uh, as we speak for literally less than nothing. I mean, some people are sitting there just 20 years. 